Hello Yarnabees! I am back with another tutorial and we are going to make this hat and I'm hoping that you guys are going to enjoy it. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to be using uh, Bernat Premium and the color is Sky Gray and I don't know if you can really tell on the camera but it's got like a light bluey gray to it. Uh, it's a really pretty color. Like I was really surprised. It's not like gray gray. It's just, it's got like this light hue. Light hue of, bu of blue. <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm going to be using a five millimeter hook and let's get started. So here we go. We're going to start with your basic beanie start. Okay, I'm going to bring you in a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do a magic circle, but you do you. You start your, your hat however you decide that you want to do it. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to chain up two or three, sorry, <laughs> and we're going to do ten double crochets in your circle. Now remember the first one counts as your first double crochet. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that first stitch. Chain up three, and you're going to pull your string to close your circle. Okay. So we're going to do two double crochets in each stitch, and you're going to start in that first stitch. You're going to go back into that first stitch and do a double crochet. So that's two in one stitch. And then you're going to go to the next stitch and you're going to do two double crochet. Okay. And the next stitch, do two double, oops, two double crochet. And by, oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> and at the end of it, you should have 20 double crochet. Okay, so do that all the way around and I'll meet you when you get back. Okay, we're at the end of the row. I just have two more to do. We're going to slip stitch to the first, top of the first chain and chain up three. And that's what you should have. Okay, now for round three we're going to double crochet into that same stitch as the as the, this chain. Now we're going to do one double crochet into the next chain Two double crochet into the next chain, or next stitch I should say, not chain. <clears throat> One double crochet into the next stitch, two double crochet into the next stitch, so you're just going two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, 
all the way around. See? Two, one, two, one, two. All the way around to the other end. And at the end, you should have 30 stitches. Okay? Okay, I'm at the end of my row here. And I'm going to slip stitch the top chain of the first of uh, slip stitch to the top of the first chain. There we go. And we're going to chain up three. <coughs> and now we're going to go into the same stitch as the as this chain. We're going to put in one double crochet. Now we're going to do two singles, or I mean two, um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> ah, okay, <clears throat> one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two double crochets in the next stitch. So you got two one, one, two. One double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochets in the next stitch. So, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and you're going to do that all the way around to the end. And you should have uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 stitches. Okay, we're at the end. Sorry, I've got a little bit of sunshine coming through here. So hopefully it's not uh, too much of a glare. Okay, we're doing our last two stitches in this row. It should be two um, double crochets. It's one double crochet in that stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to slip stitch at the top of the first double crochet. Okay. Chain up three. Now you're going to double crochet in that same stitch as the first stitch. And in the next stitch you're going to do one double crochet. The next stitch you're going to do one double crochet. The next stitch you're going to do one double crochet. And in the next stitch you're going to do two double crochets. So that's one. And go back into that next stitch, or the that same stitch, and do another one. Okay, so you're doing two, one, 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 two. Go in the next stitch, do one. Go in the next stitch, do one double crochet. Next stitch, do one double crochet. In the next stitch, do two double crochets. That's two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two. You're going to do that all the way around. And you should have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 stitches by the end of it. Okay, I'm at the end of my row. And I've got three stitches left. So one double crochet. Next stitch, one double crochet, and the next stitch, one double crochet, and then slip stitch to that first double crochet, and then chain three. Okay, we're going to do one more row. See, okay, I'm going to show you now. 
um, I'll put a graph in here. Um, depending on the size that you want the hat is dependent on um, how big, I think how many rows you do. Okay, so that's about five inches. And the next row should be about six inches. So um, for an adult size, I usually do about six inches. And, but on the graph, it'll show you, um, like for baby size, how much, how many rows you do and whatnot. So, so let's do one more row. I'll go into that same stitch in the first double crochet and do another double crochet. Now we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch. 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 And two double crochets in the next stitch. Okay, so two. One, two, three, four, two. One double crochet in the next stitch. 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 And two double crochets in the next stitch. Okay. That's two, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, two. Okay, we're going to do that all the way around to the other end. Oh, and there's the sunshine. Uh, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm on my last four stitches. One double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, and four double crochet. Slip stitch into your first double crochet, and chain three. Okay, now um, what we're going to do is we're going to do one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. This is the easy, you're not going to go into that first stitch anymore. Now you're going to move over to the next stitch. Okay, and you're just going to do one double crochet all the way around. Okay. You should have 60 stitches by the time you're at the end. Okay, so real easy. And I'll meet you back when you're finished. Okay, for this row 8, we are going to chain up 2. We're going to put a stitch marker on that first stitch and we're going to start doing half double crochets all the way around. Okay, so you go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and instead of going through two to do a, half, a double crochet, you're going to pull through all three. Okay, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Go through all three. Go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through all three. Okay, and you're going to do that in each stitch all the way around. Okay, and I will meet you when you get to the end. Okay, 
we're on to the next round and all we have to do is do our slip stitch into our first half double. I brought you in real close because you're going to need to see what we're going to do next. I'm going to chain up two. Okay, now we're going to do a half double crochet in the third loop. Okay, now each stitch has three loops. Okay, there's the front loop, the back loop. If you flip it over, there's a loop right there. That's your third loop. Okay, so if you look at it from the top, you see the V's, all, all of these V's, right? Well, if you look at it from the side, you flip it over, you've got the V's, but they're going the other way. Okay, this loop right here is your third loop. Okay. That's the loop that we're going to be going into. Okay, there we go. Yarn over, flip your work right there. We're going to go into that loop right there. Yarn over and finish your half double. Okay, yarn over. Flip your work. There it is, right there. Now go in there and do your half double. Flip your work. There it is, right there. And do your half double. Yarn over. Flip your work. And do your half double. Now, after a while, you're going to see this pop out real easy because you'll end up training your eyes to see it. Okay. Flip your work. There it is. If you're, oops, I forgot to yarn over. If you do your stitches really tight, you still should be able to see it. Okay. Just see, Here's, there's your regular, flip it, and there it is, right there. Okay, and you're just going to do your half double right in that loop. Okay, okay, and we're going to do that all the way around to the other side. And you can see it's going to give this really neat ridge. Okay, we're going to do that for two rows. Okay, so once you finish this route round, then you're going to do it again. You're going to do two rows. Okay, and I'll meet you back when you finished your two rows. Okay, so I'm finished that round. Now I'm going to slip stitch to join. I'm going to chain up three. Okay, now we're going to do popcorn stitches. Okay, so you're going to, this is going to count as your first double crochet. You're going to go into the same stitch and you're going to do four more double crochets. Okay, now when you're finished this one, you're going to go up a little bit and pull out your hook and you're going to go into the first stitch, go back into your hook or into the, the loop and you're going to pull through. Oops, sorry, I was at a camera range there. You're going to chain one. Okay, let's do this again. Skip one, go into your next stitch. You're going to do five double crochets into the same stitch. Okay, 
Sorry about the life noises in the back. George is home. <laughs> so he's watching TV. One, two, three, four. One more. Okay, so you've got five stitches in the same stitch. Pull this out a little bit. You're going to go into the first loop, go into this loop, and pull, and chain one. Okay, see so now you've got your popcorn stitch. Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Skip one, chain one, or skip one, do double crochet into the next one and do four more. So you can have five all together. Okay, pull this up a little bit, take your hook out. You're going to go into that first stitch, put your hook back in, and pull through, and then chain one. Okay, I'll do one more with you. Skip one, go into the next stitch, do five double crochets into that stitch. Four and five. Pull up your hook a little. Okay, go into that right there. Go into that stitch, go back, put your hook back on, and pull through. And then chain one. Oop, try that again. Chain one. There we go. <laughs> okay, and there's your popcorn stitches. So you're going to do that all the way around, and I will meet you at the end. And I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I'm finished this row. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into the top of that first popcorn stitch. There you go. Okay, we're going to chain up two. And we're going to go into, oh, Bailey's after something. <laughs> we're going to go and work in between each of the popcorn stitches. We're going to do two half double crochets in that space. Okay, chain one, do two half double crochets in that space. Okay, chain one. Okay, go into the next one. Two half double crochets and chain one. We're going to do that all the way around. chain one. Okay, and you go all the way around going in between each one and doing two half double crochets, chain one, and I will see you at the end. Okay, we're at the end of our row. We've just got one more to do before we have our last stitch. So we're going to do our two double crochet or two half double crochets in here and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of that stitch. I'm going to chain up two and we're going to repeat that row. Okay, so we're going to start in here in the same stitch. We've already got this will count as your first stitch. We're going to go in here and do our half double crochet. 
chain one, go in here, do our two half double crochets, chain one, go into our next chain space, do two half double crochets, chain one. So this is kind of like the granny stitch except you're only doing two instead of three. Okay, so you're going to continue to do that all the way around and I will see you when you get to the end. Okay, I'm at the end of my round. So now, oops, I'm going to bring you in a little bit here. <laughs> going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we did and chain two. Now what we're going to do is a half double crochet all the way around. So we're going to go into this space and do a half double crochet. Then we're going to go into this stitch right here and do a half double crochet, go into the chain space, half double crochet, go into this stitch, and do a half double crochet into the chain space. And you're going to continue this all the way around. Okay, going into the chain space and then going into stitch into the chain space into the stitch okay you're going to continue that all the way to the end and I will see you when you get there okay I'm at the end of my row and you're just going to slip stitch into that first chain and there you have it. Okay now I'll take you out just a little bit. Now we're just going to repeat these rows. Okay so you're going to do your two rows this you've just done your first row okay right here now you're going to do the one row of um, in the third stitch, in the back stitch, and then you're going to do your popcorn stitch row, and then you're going to do your um, two double, uh, two half double crochets in between, two half double crochets, chain one, two half double crochets in between your popcorn stitches. Then you're going to repeat that row of the two double cro uh, do two half double crochets, chain one, and then you're going to do your row of half double crochets, and you're going to keep continuing to do that until the end of your hat. Now you can do this depending on however many rows you do. You can either have it as a beanie hat, or you can do it as a slouchy hat. So. Out. Okay, and that's all you do. You just keep continuing on until you get to the end of your hat, whatever sized hat you want. Okay, so I will see you at the end of uh, the end of your hat, and I'll show you how to finish it off. Okay, so I have finished my hat. Um, and what I did was I ended it on a double or a half double crochet round. So once you've done your bobble stitch and then your um, granny type stitch and then your second granny type stitch and then your half double crochet round all the way around, I stopped mine there because it's long enough um, for me. 
Uh, if you're doing a slouchy hat, then you're going to continue. But um, this, I've checked it, I've tried it on, and it comes to just about between the top of my ear to the middle of my ear. And so that's exactly where I want it to be because the brim is going to take it down to the bottom of my ear. Okay, so I'll bring you in a little bit here. Do, 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 do. Okay, now you can end this hat any way you want. You could do a crab stitch all around. You could just do single crochets all the way around. You can do whatever you want. But this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to chain up two. And then I am going to do a front post, back post. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to bring in a little bit more, whoops, wrong way, a little bit more. Okay, so you're going to go into this stitch, you're going to yarn over, go in behind the stitch. Okay, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. So you're doing a double crochet. Okay, now you're going to go into the back of the stitch. So here's your stitch. You're going to put your, your hook behind. Where is it? There we go. And then put it in that hole. And pull through. And then finish your double crochet. Put it in the front. And then, so you have it through the front of your your half double crochet. Pull it through and finish your double crochet. Put it up in behind and then back down the other side. Pull through and finish your double crochet. Okay, so you're going to do this all the way around. until the end. And you're going to do this for three, all together three rows. Oop. I'm not watching what I'm doing here. Go up and down. Pull it through and finish your double crochet. Put it up and under. Oh, whoops, I didn't yarn over. Go under, through, and finish your double crochet. Yarn over, go up and over, and finish your double crochet. Okay, and you're going to get this ridge. Okay. Now, I will go and I'll finish my round and I will come back when I'm, when I'm done and show you what to do next. Okay, I'm finished this round. So now I'm going to slip stitch to the first dub, um, double crochet that we did to end the row. Now, we're going to chain up two. And you're going to be able to see, it's kind of hard to see right now because I'm so close, but you're going to be able to see which one's your front post and which one's your back post. Front post, back post, front post, back post. So you're going to repeat that sequence when you go around again. So this is your front post, so you're going to do a front post. See, that one goes in behind, so that is your back post. Okay, and that's your front post. In there, and there is your back post. Okay. 
and you're just going to continue that pattern all the way around. Now you don't have to do three um, rows of this if you don't want to. If you want to stop at two rows, that's fine. You know, it's it's all in where you want it to sit on your head, right? So we'll just continue on with this. And I will see you at oops the end. Once you've finished your your rows, then you just fasten off. Okay? And I will check back with you in a minute. Okay, here it is. There's my rim. My brim. Uh, I only did two rows actually because I tried it on and it seemed to be enough. So I just fastened off, weaved in my end, and don't forget to weave in the end here too. And then your hat is finished. Isn't it neat? Oh, I just love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please, if you make it, Go on to our Facebook page at Crochet A Canada on Facebook and um, post your picture. I would love to see what you guys have done and what colors and what yarn you use. Okay, so thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like and do all the things. And uh, I will talk to you in the next video. Bye! <music>